All right, welcome back to another episode of Beer, Bacon, and Bros. A little uh, shift in the roster tonight. We got Alston sitting in for Alex. As always, we got Adam, Chris, and Keith. Uh, we're going to jump into future destinations for Matt Rule. Obviously, today he was let go of, uh, in his third year of his seven-year contract the Panthers gave him, which was not oh, smart. They yeah, still, they still owe him $40 million. Yeah. So, oh, man. Um, but he's let go. Uh, we're obviously expecting Matt Rule to go back to the college ranks as he was fantastic at Temple and Baylor, of course. So, uh, before we jump into it, though, make sure you hit that subscribe button for us. Free to you. Uh, totally means a lot to us as we continue to grow this channel. Uh, you're always welcome to hit us in the comments. We've been replying like crazy to all the things that we've said, uh, including me being called out for saying the Cleveland Guardians is the worst team in playoff history or 20 years. Last 20, 20 years. Yeah, something yeah. like that. And so. please spell check, Chris. Yeah, and as always, let me know. It's no, always fun. Not spell checking correctly. So, um, all right, let's jump into this. I got the top five current openings for college destinations. Obviously, some will come uh, over time, but uh, right now, now, yeah, right now on uh, October tenth, that rule same day he's let go. We're going to talk a little bit about some of these destinations. Top destination in college football from just a general perspective: uh, Nebraska. You do have Wisconsin. You have Arizona State, Georgia Tech, and Colorado are what's considered the top five available jobs in college football. It's not a lot of movements, huh? Not, not, yet, a lot not of like yet. Georgia but, Tech is on the top five, but you got to think we're six in weeks in. We're six yeah. weeks into college if, football. Yeah, I mean Georgia Tech, power five jobs. Georgia Tech would be wouldn't be bad for him because it is a power five job, and they're yeah. getting away from and, the triple option. Well, yeah. they've they've been they've been, they've been, they've been, they've been away for three years now. Um, I mean, I, Georgia Tech might be a good fit because he could come in and totally rebuild that team because they're in complete shambles. Like all, I guess all no, five, of the, all five of those teams are complete shambles. So I guess there's no there. pressure, there's right? No pressure yeah. right away. You can only, you can I, only go up from some of these locations. I mean, Nebraska, I feel like there's pressure. They've been in a lot of one score games recently. Like you have, they think that they can win games. Same thing with Wisconsin. Wisconsin's have won eight games the last probably five years. I mean, they've so, just been consistently good. The problem, I feel, if he goes to Wisconsin is there's going to be too much pressure on him to get past the Big Three and the Big Ten. Yeah. Ohio State. Ohio Michigan. State, Michigan, and Penn State. Yeah. I think I think there's too much pressure. I know they might be on a different side, but you still got to go through them to get to, to a playoff. Yeah. So I think there's too much pressure if you go there. Well, I guess on your side of the black, uh, that side of it, what? So Minnesota has been good of Minnesota, Minnesota, Nebraska. If he doesn't, if he doesn't choose Nebraska, Minnesota, Nebraska, and who's the other? Michigan Wisconsin. State, Wisconsin. No, Michigan State's on the other side. Okay, yeah. well, well, I'm saying if he goes, Iowa. To, if he goes to Wisconsin, Iowa, Iowa, Iowa will be the other three. Yeah. So I mean, I, I think those are. I'm say your division, through. your division rivals for the who you have to beat out to even get to the Big Ten championship. Right. Well, and, and Nebraska's looking to get out of the Big Ten anyway. Yeah. So, and they will back to the Big 12. Yeah, so they won't even be in there after two or three more years. But I feel like he'd, he'd be better off going to like a Georgia Tech where the only person you're – only team you have to really contend with is Clemson. And if you get in there and get your people, yeah. you know, because they're on the same Well, side. I mean, as of right yeah. now, you, you're looking at a – Florida State Illinois. team that's on the up and up, and NC well, State actually, team that's on the up. They're on the coastal with they're North Carolina. They're on the coastal with North Carolina, Pitt, and Miami. Tech, Miami. So. Yeah, and I guess the the up, if you somehow bring football to Georgia Tech and you look like a genius, you win that side. Like, I mean, he, he did it with Temple. He did it with Temple. What, what says he can't do it with That's Georgia what I mean. Tech. Like, the praise is even higher there. Like, if you get a Wisconsin – or a Nebraska, and you, and you, win that division. you win that side of the division, and you play in a couple of conference games. And, and, and you get embarrassed in the conference game? Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. the praise is not going to be there, but if you get Georgia Tech to the conference game, even though you're going to get killed by whoever comes out of the other side, you get Georgia Tech to a conference game, which yeah. they probably haven't been to in 25 years. Since Calvin Johnson probably. Probably. Yeah. It's like, yeah. the praise would be there for yeah. them, I think. And you, but, and you got the pipeline of Georgia plus... Georgia, Florida, well, you Tennessee, have to, but South you Carolina. get to recruit to say, hey, yeah, you know, you get to come and hang out in Atlanta for three years, four years. Not a bad place to be. Yeah, I and mean, some of the in some of those games you're going to be nationally televised. You're going to be on TV. Yeah, more so playing at Georgia Tech, I feel, than playing Wisconsin. I mean, you get on Wisconsin, you get on the big noon. So yeah, big noon, yeah. but it's not that's not a guarantee that you get that every week though. No, and somebody does. I mean, the Big Ten also. If I'm a, now, the ACC is the one that plays on Friday night, so yeah. you got a chance to play Friday night. night game. So, I, I'm 
this is tough a little bit. I, I think for me, there's three jobs in this that, that need to be considered for Matt Rule, and it's it's the same three teams that y'all been saying: Nebraska, Wisconsin, Georgia Tech. I think if you go to Georgia Tech, I agree with you. You're on an easier side of the ACC. Now, really, Miami's supposed to be the up and coming. North Carolina obviously has Matt Brown. I think Pitt's relevant here and there, um, but I also think that how much of that was Pickett? Yeah, that too. But and Addison. Yeah. But I, I'll say that I, it just as as Adam thinks that Atlanta and being in Georgia is a recruiting advantage, I also think it's a little bit of a disadvantage because Georgia is with Georgia, so South Carolina, Carolina, Alabama, Florida, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Clemson. I mean, the yeah. state of Georgia, they're pulling every athlete they possibly can out of it. So for Georgia Tech, it's been about can I get three stars in here that can ultimately turn into something. So. Yeah. Well, um, but I mean, that's what he did at Temple, though, is he got those players to come in and he, yeah, and he, he, and he, he three, developed. He didn't get three stars to come. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is, you get them in there, develop develop them. Guy, yeah. You can you can create a culture and yeah. get a, and get a team that's going to believe in you and be behind you. Yeah, all. but do, I, do they give him the time? Is the question. If he goes, to Georgia, Georgia Tech will give him the time. Georgia Tech, Tech is Georgia Tech yeah. is down right now. There is no like he is not walking in there and winning six games. Actually. I mean, hell, they let Paul Johnson in there for how many years? That's true. Running the triple option. That's 30. true. I mean, no, it's so, 40. <laughs> that's the thing. I yeah. think, but I think if he doesn't want pressure and if he, if he wants the possible best upside, you, you Georgia, Tech, Georgia, Georgia, Georgia Tech is the answer. I, who do y'all think is actually the one program? Who who do y'all think out of those three is the best program right now? Who's it's who's the closest be to being to winning? It's gotta be Wisconsin. I would say Nebraska, because <sighs> the pure fact of last year they lost eight games that was one score touchdown. That, that to me is, when you get into a game tight like that, it's situational football, and I think you think a player or two right there could have changed, you know. I think a player or two, I think a player or a player or two, or I think a coach. I mean, if you, the way they they mishandled a lot of time management last year, they lost, they were very bad in one score games. Last year and they've in the first half of this year they've lost two one score games in the first three weeks, so I think if you take one team, it's one of those two teams. It's got to be one of those two teams. So, but I also think out of the five possible openings currently, you were saying that Georgia Tech probably has the least amount of pressure on him to do anything. No, Colorado would be the one. The, of the Colorado, five, Colorado yeah. would be the one with the least amount of pressure. Well, see, I, I was going to say, I was say you, you could go to Arizona State or Georgia Tech where you'd have the least amount of pressure because no, Arizona they're, State, they're, they're, they're going through a complete rebuild based off of everything that Herm Edwards did. Yeah. But they're also getting ready to lose the top two teams in that in that conference. Right. So, I don't think he gets a head coach no. Uh, he does. He's been such a program builder between Temple and Baylor. I mean, he made Baylor relevant. He's going to Alabama. He's going to no, be the OC at Alabama. No, give I'm me, not. give me that take. Give me Billy O'Brien to is the they, Panthers, and they're just going to flip spots. Is they, uh, is they bet not on this one yet? Yeah, no. they're just going to. I'm sure there is. Go look at it. Wisconsin. Wisconsin was nine and four last year. Their only losses were Penn State, Notre Dame, Michigan, and Minnesota. They beat Iowa and they beat Purdue. Both were in the top twenty-five when they beat them. So, I mean, I, 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 listen, I, I, I think that's the thing for me. I think Wisconsin is the closest one to being relevant again. And I think it aligns with the way that Matt Rule likes to coach. It's a running football team, plays defense. They've had a history of good defenders at that program at that school. So, I think they've had a history of great running backs at that school. Had a, yeah, a history of great running backs. And it's the problem that Matt Rule's always had, that somebody's got to help him solve. They've never had a good quarterback. And Matt Rule has never had a good quarterback, pretty much. So, um, one plus champ. Yeah, I know. So I think so. As long as he can bring in somebody to help him get quarterbacks <laughs> in that school, he, he's got the chance if he goes to Wisconsin to be successful, in my opinion. Yeah, I think Wisconsin's the most upside in being successful. Georgia Tech's going to give you the time to try and bring your guys in and, and run that system the way you want to. Um, Nebraska, I just think, is on a down down spiral right now. I, don't, I think that would be well, like, I mean, usually usually when you do hire a new coach they they'll usually bring in a new staff, but not always. But I think just that organization from the top to bottom in Nebraska needs to be It needs to be gutted. Yeah. Um and then I mean I don't know too much about Arizona State and um Colorado. Arizona State though I think was what, eight and four last year? 
Yeah, they were a good team. They were good. I mean, they've had good. I mean, they've had good teams. Did did something right? He they had good teams the last few years. He just didn't do it the right way. I, I didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said they had a good team. Can so you, can you get the West Coast? Is there enough West Coast talent? Yeah. In the well, well I mean, the problem is that we won't have enough West Coast connections. Is probably the bigger thing, right? Like, if you're going to be a coach, you're probably going to take the coaching job somewhere where you're. Feel like relevant, relevant, right? Yeah. Like the, you know people that you know the high school coaches and you know who to go to and trust and stuff. And I just don't know that like West Coast is it? Wet Coast is it for Matt Wet Roll. Coast? Uh, wet Coast. The that wet, too. Wet Coast. Wet coast. coast. Yeah. So we're the dry coast. Yeah. <laughs> Not last week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, oh, this is. So are we are we all so, on the consensus though that he's trying to get the job now though. Right? That's my thing. That's kind of my That's next fine. question is, if you're Matt Rule, do you want to take a job right? Like, if Wisconsin calls you tomorrow and says, hey, we want to sit down, have you for an interview, you go in, do two interviews, and like, hey, we want to give you a four-year contract well, there, and take the job There's right no now. competition right now, right? Yeah. I mean, no that's one is. Not right now. You're he not has, taking any coordinators. He has free reign of, of every school right now. Yeah, you're not taking any coordinators that are going to get the jump. You're not taking any late fires or any, like, names that come open like yeah. you have the best chance to pick so i mean are you in two weeks doing everything you're looking at program program and in three weeks we got matt rule out as a coach i think if you're matt rule that's what you want yeah I think, if you're the, the Irons, uh, I think if you're the school that's what you want right if you're wisconsin this is a reason you fire paul chris so early in the season you try to get you want first bid at whoever the hell you want, and right here Matt Rule's on the table. And now, if you're Wisconsin, this is your opportunity for it. If I'm Matt Rule, I might stick around, man. You I'm know, same competition comes in. Yeah, well, what if, what if Utah fires their coach for it, drive, it drives the it drives the price up. Yeah, I mean, what if uh, like, let's, uh, Auburn Auburn's going to become available? Brian Harson's going to done. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go? Brian Harson never should have came back, come back. True. Um, Louisville, Louisville will be firing uh, Scott Satterfield, Satterfield soon. I don't want to step in the west of maybe the we're SEC. Going, that's maybe we're going to hire Marcus. <laughs> yeah, God, I wish they'd hire Marcus. Ever. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to step in the west of the SEC. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you no, really, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I mean. Such a hard. To, yeah, if, if Auburn becomes open, I think he sticks. I think he steers clear of Auburn because that's such a hard program to well, that's go just, with. That's just a, yeah, hard side of the SEC to win in. Especially now that you're getting ready to bring in Texas and Oklahoma with the with, with the, how are they going to re- do this realignment? Yeah, you know. I mean it's going to be it's going to get even harder. I mean West West Virginia is a spot that's probably going to become available. Um, Iowa State, Matt Campbell may be done. Who knows? I mean he's been he's been on the thin ice for that over North there. North Carolina, for a while. Like, Mac, Mac or old Mac Brown might be out. He's he's nah, he's five and one. He ain't out. No, I'm talking about just him and Jim for him himself. Yeah, he might retire. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, talking about, I'm talking about him himself. No, not, not UNC getting rid of him, but him himself being 80 years old, whatever old he is. Yeah. I mean, the SEC-wise, that's probably – Auburn's probably the one that you're going to see. Maybe Missouri. I think Eli Drinkwitz may be done at Missouri. So, yeah. All right. Well – I don't know. There's, there's definitely, I think, openings to come along later in the season. Oh, yeah, but yeah, if, you, if you're looking to get somewhere here and now, I think if you like I think, something, I think Wisconsin. Yeah, I think if, if you they see him like enough, something, he'll he'll go. Yeah, he'll, yeah. He'll, yeah. He'll, if the numbers are right, he'll be. I think Wisconsin right. might be his best bet. Yeah, it but helps the program. It helps him in the long run because they know he's going to be the coach. Yeah, so he can go. I mean, he can't do for NCAA regulations. He can't go and start recruiting yet. But if, if you're a player that's thinking about going to Wisconsin and you know your coach is going to be Matt Rule, yeah. and you know his style and what he does, then, I mean, that's 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 a, oh, that's just, a plus for the school. I would yeah. say, yeah, or if, you know, you just know that, yeah, this guy's been proven at the college level. Maybe right. not so much at the NFL level, but at the college level, this guy. It's a hard, it's a hard jump. I mean, this guy not, has been a winner. This guy has been a winner and has been a program changer at the college level. So, yeah, you could easily see guys and be like, you know what? Wisconsin doesn't sound half bad anymore. No, yeah. I mean, they, they play at a conference where they can, they can win their division and then Play for compete. the conference championship. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, hit us in the comments. Let us know what you think is Matt Rule's next, next destination. And as always, we appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe.